In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new photo picker for SwiftUI 4 and iOS 16. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below. Let's open up Xcode 14. This is beta 3 and start by creating a new project. I'll stick with the app template under iOS and we'll call this, let's call this image picker so we don't confuse the naming from the actual components. Make sure you've got SwiftUI and Swift, of course, selected and I'll toss it onto my desktop here. And first things first, we're gonna close this right panel. I'll expand our window. And I'm also going to give this a run in our simulator, which is a 13, uh, iPhone 13 with iOS 16. So cool, so Photo Picker basically will replace a lot of the ad hoc implementations that folks have done over the past two or three years of, you know, UI view controller representable and basically like cobbling together a UI image picker controller into Swift UI. It's a pretty common scenario to need a image picker. So we finally get it. So first things first, we want to import photos UI. This framework actually contains the components and we're gonna change some of the stuff in here. So what we want to do is we're going to have a basically a button that we should be able to tap to get the photo picker. And then once we have selected a photo, we want to actually render it out. Now, once we select a photo, we actually get something called a pH picker item. So I'm going to call this selected items. And we actually want this to be a state. So once it updates, we can actually uh, do something. So here we are going to say this is a pH photo uh, item, let's see if I can find what it's actually called. I believe it's called an item, PH photo picker. And let's see, they might have renamed it, but let's actually create the photo picker and it'll actually tell me what it is. So to create a photo picker, we'll just do this like so. And a photo picker, ah, it's called a photos picker item. That's what I was looking for up here. So photos picker item. All right, just like that. And down here, we're going to create our photo picker. So we're going to say our photo picker is a photo picker like so. And we can create it with a few arguments. We can pass a title, but the one we're going to use is selection, max selection count, and a uh, actual view. So we're going to take the, let's see if I can find it. We want selection here. We want uh, matching and we want this max selection. So we want selection all right like so which is going to be our actual binding here so this will be our binded collection up above of our selected items now our label here is basically what we want to actually show up so we're just going to toss a basic text in here but it is a view builder so we'll say pick photo now in addition to this we are going to say uh, we want to match a particular type of asset so the name is a little misleading you can in fact select videos or slow-mo videos you can say select any panorama videos or panorama photos i should say but we're going to be working with images today so we'll say select images and uh, what we want to also do is we're going to want to load once we select an image the contents of that image and toss it into another state up here uh, of type data. And this is of course gonna start off as optional because we don't have any data. Now, once we have data, we are going to toss a uh, unbind up here, or unwrap I should say, if let data is data. We're gonna try to create a UI image from said data. And if we're able to do so, we're gonna render out a image component in Swift UI, which takes a UI image we'll make it resizable and that, that should be good for what we want to basically test out today. So let me go ahead and give this a run, not a lot of code. And we'll see at the bottom here, we have our pick photo button and we can tap it and see the native photo picker. Now I dragged a couple more images into my simulator, hence the variety here. And I'll pick one and you'll see by default, it lets us pick uh, n number of elements. Now that's because we've passed in this collection here into the photo picker, but we can also specify the max number of things that we're gonna allow to select. So we'll make that one and do this one more time. And like so, once we select one, it dismisses like so. Now obviously we need to get the result, which is in our collection up here. It'll put one of these photos picker items in here and we wanna load it. So there's a variety of ways you can set this up. You can have a view model and you know observe when something is added to this and you know load that element, but we're gonna use a on change modifier. 
and we're going to say when there is a change to the uh, selected items we want to do something so we're going to get the first item in here let's see if i can spell that correctly guard let item let's do item will be selected items that first and once we have a selected item what we want to do is load basically the asset from it. So we are going to say item load transferable. There's that new uh, protocol that I have to do another video on. And the type we're gonna try to get is basically an image. Now I wasted a bunch of time thinking that we can go ahead and actually do this, but this actually doesn't work. And there's an interesting backstory as to why it doesn't. But for today's video, just go ahead and use data.self. This always will work. And what we wanna do in here is switch on the results. In the success case, we're gonna get nullable data. So we're gonna say if let data equals data, we'll say self dot data will be data. Uh, else, I'm just gonna print out that, you know, fail to load, or we'll say data is nil. And then in the failure case, of course, this is uh, no good at all. So we'll just do a fatal error and I'll toss that uh, failure inside of here. This will just more or less crash the app because uh, you know we don't actually have any success coming back in the result. So once we have this data that we assign to, if you recall, this data up here is a state uh, property, which will trigger SwiftUI to update our uh, view here. And we'll see, we'll have some data. We'll try to create a UI image and we should see our image up above. All right, let's give this a go. So we'll hit this pick photo. And I'm gonna select this nice looking picture and boom, there is our picture. And that's basically the inner workings of how to set up this photo picker. Now again, I use this on change here uh, for the actual, you know, getting the updated selected items. I encourage you to put it in a view model and use published uh, properties to basically observe states and update things. But of course this is a simple demo. So let's select a different photo and you'll see that it updates here with selection. And that's Photo Picker in SwiftUI 4, and it's available for iOS 16 and up. I'll also add that this is available for macOS, iPadOS, and watchOS, which is pretty sweet because you can write this API out once and run it basically wherever you want to. So that is all I've got for you guys today. If you like the video, drop a like down below. Leave a comment. Let me know if you use SwiftUI on the daily, any video suggestions. Check out the latest updates on iOS Academy. So that's iOS Academy Plus plans, the Resource Center. Uh, we are also hiring, so the Careers page. Connect on all the socials. Always love connecting with you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.